Until recently, the steam belching from the Okra geothermal power plant near Reykjavik carried with it environmentally hazardous carbon dioxide. Far less than that emitted by a fossil fuel powered plant, but still enough to do damage. But now Okra has cleaned up its act in partnership with a new plant half a kilometre away. Called Carbon Recycling International, Okra's new neighbour captures all the polluting gas from the waste steam and turns it into methanol, which is then added to petrol. Benedict Stephenson is CRI's Director of Business Development. The geothermal power plant emits uh, substantial amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. We take that CO2 and we pump it via pipeline into our plant. We also take electricity and use electricity to produce, produce hydrogen. By combining CO2 and hydrogen through a catalytic process, we make liquid fuel, which is methanol. The company say a car running on pure methanol fuel would produce just 30% of the emissions of standard petrol. But as existing car engines are not designed to run on such fuel, the company is currently focused on blending it with gasoline. Stephenson says the technology has advantages over the current generation of electric cars. We're essentially turning renewable power, electricity, into liquid fuel for normal gasoline-powered cars. And uh, if you compare that, for example, to electrical-powered vehicles, which uh, cost more and are somewhat less uh, interesting for consumers at the moment because they have a lower, uh, shorter range and uh, are more expensive both to uh, own and operate. The plant is producing 2 million litres of methanol per year. Next year it will be 5 million litres, involving the removal of more than 2,000 tonnes of CO2 from the atmosphere. Currently only 3% methanol is allowed in unleaded gasoline in most countries. CRI would like that figure to be increased then it really will be a case of full steam ahead for its factory. Jim Drury, Reuters.